In the eerie twilight of early October 2015, a scene of dread unfolded in the Cowdray Park, suburb of Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. For months, residents had endured the torment of a malevolent presence known as Ernest, a so-called goblin wreaking havoc on their lives. Homes were pelted with stones, windows shattered, and whispers of terror echoed through the neighbourhood. Some even claimed to have been accosted while wandering the streets after dark. A team of four seasoned Sikam Tandas, what we would call witch doctors, descended upon the community to exercise this demonic force. The air crackled with anticipation as hundreds of captivated onlookers gathered at the home of a woman rumoured to be harbouring the goblin. Led by the enigmatic Mephira Kariva, the team unraveled the sinister origins of Ernest. It was revealed that the creature was unleashed upon the neighborhood as retribution for unpaid dues to a traditional healer. Seeking prosperity, the woman and her husband had sought the healer's services but failed to meet their obligations, thus incurring his wrath. As the exorcism unfolded within the confines of the woman's home, the tension mounted. Eventually, the Sikantamdas emerged, bearing a grotesque creature resembling a rat, adorned with a horn and feathers. The eerie spectacle sent shivers down the spines of all who beheld it, a testament to dark forces at play. Residents shared harrowing accounts of their encounters with Ernest, Thulani Dub recounted the chilling experience of finding his wife in a trance-like state, seemingly engaged in illicit activities with an unseen entity. Others, like Manayoni, spoke of the terror of hearing Ernest taunting them, urging them to hurry as he waited impatiently. For some women, the horrors were even more insidious as they recounted dreams of being violated by the creature while in a state of unconsciousness. The line between reality and nightmare blurred as they woke to the chilling realisation of what had transpired. In the aftermath of the exorcism, a palpable sense of relief washed over the neighbourhood. Yet the memory of Ernest's reign of terror lingered like a haunting spectre a reminder of the darkness that lurks beneath the surface of the seemingly mundane. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out some of our other content. See you in the next one.